Hepatorenal syndrome occurs in the setting of portal hypertension and is due to reduced renal blood flow during simultaneous dilatation of the splanchnic vasculature. Most patients who develop hepatorenal syndrome have cirrhosis, although alcoholic hepatitis and acute liver failure are also associated with hepatorenal syndrome. Type 1 hepatorenal syndrome is characterized by a rise in serum creatinine of at least 0.3 milligrams per deciliter and or 50% or greater from baseline within a 48-hour time frame. Bland urinalysis, normal kidney ultrasonography findings, and exclusion of other causes of acute kidney injury, especially that of volume depletion. Patients have a low fractional excretion of sodium and oliguria. Type 2 hepatorenal syndrome is characterized by a gradual decline in kidney function associated with refractory ascites. Declining renal function is one of the most important predictors of death in patients with cirrhosis. A rapid rise in serum creatinine should prompt evaluation for infections and causes of hypovolemia. Management of hepatorenal syndrome, or HRS, includes treatment of precipitating conditions, stopping diuretics, and volume expansion with intravenous albumin. Vasoconstrictor treatment with midodrine, that's M-I-D-O-D-R-I-N-E, and octreotide, or norepinephrine, to raise mean arterial pressure and improve renal perfusion may be helpful. Treatments may also include intravenous albumin with either terlipressin, if available, or midodrine, and atriotide to raise mean arterial pressure and improve kidney perfusion. Patients whose kidney function does not improve with therapy may require hemodialysis while they await their liver transplantation.